I'm joined in the kitchen by one of Australia's best looking, maybe not so young chefs from Adelaide. Now you've got restaurants in Kangaroo Island, you've got restaurants in Adelaide and you've been doing work in Darwin. You're all over the place, but you're here today to cook with us. Definitely, Richo. We're cooking up a San Remo curly fettuccine with scallops, pancetta and zucchini. Sounds delicious. Now, San Remo is an Australian company, Australian owned. That's what we like. Correct, mate. 100% okay. family owned Australian. Durham wheat, all grown in Australia. Fantastic. And you're going to cook it with scallops because normally I have meat, but a pancetta and scallops, they go well together? Well, I thought about it. You know what I mean? If I just put the scallops in there, you'd be complaining there's no fat and flavour. So yes. I thought, throw in the pancetta, get to me that flavour. So you want me to cut this up for you? Yeah, okay. loves, thank you. Into no dice, worries. please. I'm going to get the pan nice and hot, okay, okay. to get our pancetta in there, rendering out all the flavour. Thanks, Utre. So, pans are nice and hot. We need to get our pasta into the water. It's going to take about 14 minutes to cook. Okay, yep. That's that beautiful uh, curly fettuccine. I love that one. Yeah, great shape, this one, Richo. Yeah. Really good, too, for bakes, pasta bakes. Works okay. really well. Like a pasta forno. Pasta forno. Oh, huh? Now you're talking my language. My favourite. My favourite. Nice. Just uh, throw it. And, you know, if you've got leftover pasta, yeah. you can always put some cheese on top of it and throw it into the oven, and it becomes a new dish, doesn't it? True. Exactly. You never waste any pasta. All right. In pancetta. You go. Pancetta. Straight in there. Sizzle. Lovely. Sizzle. Good splash of olive oil. Sizzle already. And what you're trying to do is get the fat to render down from the pancetta, which is a cured pork belly, lots of salt, lots of pepper in there, some spices. So you just sizzle that off in a fairly hot pan. Yep. Get a bit of colour into it. You can just smell it. It's fantastic. Oh. One knob of butter. Now, oh. we'll add the rest later on. With the butter at the start, just to cool the pan down and and get everything going. Oh, this is lovely. I'm loving it already. Now, don't forget about our pasta. These long strands, just yep. with your wooden spoon, just be gentle. You don't want to break them up because no. they are quite delicate when they're dry like that. So mm. by stirring it around, it doesn't stick and you're just pulling it apart without beating it around in the, in, in the pot. Yeah, you give okay. it a bit of respect. But okay. Also, you're going to cook it nice and evenly, yeah? So by spreading it out like so, that pasta's going to cook evenly. Beautiful. So you've just got some lovely, uh, that burn was it, that brown butter flavour in there. Mm -hmm. What else do we add to that? Time for the grated zucchinis. Grated zucchini. This is like a... Are you sure you want to put all this zucchini in? <laughs> well, I thought about Priya with this part of it. You know, okay. you need some greens in your life. Okay, here. okay. But the zucchini you're going to cook down, is that going to be part of the sauce? Yeah. Ah, yep. oh, I'm loving this. So they're going to wilt down, come nice and soft and delicate, all right? Take on the flavour of the pancetta. So that needs to cook for around three to four minutes, allowing the zucchinis to collapse down. Beautiful. All right, Richo, zucchinis are collapsed down, looking good. Time to check the pasta. Oh, it's nearly ready. Oh, almost there, mate. You've got a time to perfection, haven't you? <laughs> Definitely. All right. In with the garlic, OK? Chopped garlic at the end. You want that strong flavour, don't you? Yeah, and I don't want to burn it. Yeah, and get that okay. burnt garlic flavour through. Nice. Now, if you can season the scallops for me okay. quickly. I'll put some pepper on there, a little bit of salt. Do you want some olive oil on there as well? A splash of olive Just oil would be good, splash, mate. Just some salt on there and some olive oil. Oh, I'm loving oh, yeah. this. Just a little drizzle. That's enough? A little drizzle into the pan as okay, well, mate. Be nice. There we go. Now, that's a hot, smoking hot pan, OK, to sear off these scallops. That's what you want for scallops, isn't it? You want a hot pan so you cook them really quickly, get that golden brown on one side, Correct. flipping over, and they're, they're ready to go. Take a couple minutes. OK. I'll get you to chop up the chervil while that's happening. Do that. I can see using chervil and not parsley. If I didn't have chervil, I can use parsley. But yeah. this is a beautiful, soft... Herb that goes so well with seafood. It does. It has a wonderful little aniseed flavour. Lovely, lovely. I'm loving this one. And the smell of those scallops as they sizzle. They're big, juicy, beautiful scallops. They must be from Victoria. Nah, they're from South Australia. Oh, okay. Remind me of you a little bit, you know. Big, <laughs> juicy, sizzling away. I think it's time to flip them. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, fantastic. So we're looking for. Oh, uh, it's nice and golden brown. Now, you don't want it to cook long, do you? Just no. flip them over and then we'll put everything together beautifully. So now you can throw in the butter into oh, there for I me. Can, I can do that for you. That'll slow down the cooking, won't it? It will. And also, just give that nice gloss to the scallops. A bit more pepper. <laughs> You're a pepper. I've got to do something. All right, well, I'm getting the pasta out of the water. Okay. Yeah. Look at these. And you want some of the water to go into the zucchini as well. Yes. I mean, we talked about before that a lot of people take their pasta water and they tip it into the sink. Oh, don't do off. that. Don't do that. A pair of tongs is all you need or one of those special little scooper things. Yeah, I cry when I see people doing that, okay. mate. Now, the chervil, do you want that in there now? Yes. In we go. Lovely fresh herbs. Nice. Loving that. 
And look at these scallops just browning off beautifully. Well, you know what, Ritzo? You can throw everything, all that butter and all oh, that. Oh, that's in. what I'm liking. Oh, the scallop butter, everything's ready to go. That looks fantastic. Smells amazing. I'm really looking forward to this. I hope you've got enough there for you and I together. I'm not sharing with you, man. Okay. <laughs> now, I've got some lemon here. Do you want me to cut this to squeeze on top? No, nah, I want the zest, please. The zest. Just I can over the point. top to finish. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. And a few scallops. So this is the thing with pasta. If you've got something expensive like prawns or scallops, uh, pasta helps to get the flavour in there, but it fills you up as well. So you can take something really expensive and make it go a long, long way with some good pasta. Yeah, good source of protein, right? Exactly, exactly. I'm loving this. And you've got all the beautiful golden sides sitting up, a little bit of zest over the top there. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, that's what I'm looking oh. for. That fresh zing from the lemon zest would be great. All right. Fork for you. Fork for me. I'm going to go straight in there and grab half of these scallop oh, here because I want to get some... Shit. I want to get some of this uh, pasta as well, so I want the flavour of it. I'm looking forward to trying the zucchini and seeing how that holds it together. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is beautiful. The scallop is cooked to perfection, really soft. The pasta is beautiful, but the zucchini, I'm amazing how that zucchini flavour has gone all the way through with the pancetta. That is a beautiful dish, really, really well made. I'm sure those scallops are from Victoria. No, they're a safe. You sure?